Hey YouTubers, um, this is my latest project. It's a cremation urn for a friend of mine's father who passed away. Uh, I did not do a build video on this because I'm still new enough at the recording thing that the camera distracts me too much and um, sometimes causes me to make mistakes. And uh, I didn't want to make any mistakes on this um, because it was a commissioned project. But it's made from Kumaru, not sure how to pronounce that, <laughs> hopefully that's correct, uh, but Kumaru and Paduk. And uh, the way I did this, uh, in sh real quick, was uh, I took a board, cut it in my pieces, and I joined it with a Paduk spline that is visible. And then the top uh, features a panel that is floating, and the bottom is screwed on. The feet are also Paduk, and uh, uh, since I didn't do a build video on this, I do have details, uh, photographs that I took along the way. They'll be on my blog, and, and that link will be uh, down below in the description. Uh, also, what I've been up to uh, a little bit earlier today, I took a, a wax toilet bowl ring that I bought to lubricate screws with, and I didn't like the flimsy plastic container that it came in. So I melted it, I pulled it out of the container, put it in a Pyrex bowl, um, put it in a toaster oven. At, uh, it ended up taking about 250 degrees and about a half hour to completely melt it. And I mixed it with a little bit of mineral oil just to soften it up because the toilet bowl wax is really hard. And I put it in this little container that I salvaged from some of my wife's beauty products after she was finished with it. So, and um, I can put a couple of pictures of that. I mean, not much to show. Dogs. Other than that, uh, I've mostly been working on the shop. You might notice a few changes. Uh, there's been some postings on my blog about it, and uh, I'll take a quick video of just some of that. And hopefully uh, I'll have another build video up very soon. Thank you. So over in this area we're looking at now, there used to be two workbenches up against the wall. And I really didn't use them. Mostly they just collected clutter. So I tore those out and uh, moved my machines around a little bit. And this has opened up a whole lot more floor space. Uh, I know you can't quite tell. <laughs> and... Uh, because the camera doesn't pan out far enough but it really does open up a lot more space uh, there still is a lot of things around that um, I need to move out of the way a lot of it is this lumber over here I need to find a better place for that um, I also have some sheet goods over here that I want to use up and hopefully I can build some cabinets for my shop and use up some of that sheet good and clear out that corner a little bit so that I can move that drill press to the other corner some other things I did was building the shelves right here. Um, uh, these two befores are part of the structure and I can't remove them. So I decided to just go ahead and make use of them. Uh, use some of the recycled two befores from the workbenches I tore out and simply made these shelves. There is also another set of shelves over here with finishing products on them. And that's, that's quite nice, quite handy to get those out of the way. Um, previously, they were on uh, these shelves here. There were actually three shelves on this wall. And all the cleaning products were up there. Eventually, I like to get rid of that top shelf as well. Um, I kind of like the bottom shelf there above the lathe. It's, it's kind of handy for some things that I use pretty frequently. So I'll leave that there, but hopefully I can get rid of the top shelf at some point. Right now it just has a lot of miscellaneous items on it, light bulbs and empty containers and just random things. So that's kind of what I've been up to. And uh, again, you can get some more information on that if anybody really cares. Oh, and I have also added some additional lighting. Yeah. Uh, I put some lighting in the back of the shop. You can kind of see uh, some of my lumber storage and other 
uh, junk that I got stored back there. Some of it's uh, machinery, woodworking equipment. Um, there's furniture stored back there that uh, will be cut apart and recycled into other projects. Uh, I also added a light over here, which my lathe was there for a short period of time. But I decided I liked the lathe better over here, so I will probably move that light to this side at some point. But for right now, these two additional lights have uh, really helped out. So that's pretty much it for now. Thanks, and I'll talk to you all soon.